Brontosaurus is a name that we all grew up with, but actually since 1903 has been regarded by vertebrate paleontologists as the junior synonym of Apatosaurus. So Apatosaurus is what most of us consider to be the correct name for the animal that we all know as Brontosaurus. Brontosaurus was a sauropod dinosaur that was described in 1879 by Othniel Charles Marsh at Yale University. And it was described from a very complete, very well-formed adult animal. And several of the characters which he used to distinguish it from a previously named dinosaur that he named in two years earlier, Apatosaurus, is that it had five sacral vertebrae. These are the backbones in between the hips. They fuse together and they provide a firm foundation for supporting the hind limbs. In Apatosaurus, which we now recognize was maybe two-thirds grown, that type specimen, that was a young individual, its sacral vertebrae hadn't all fused yet, so it only has three sacral, fused sacral vertebrae. So those are the some of the characters that Marsh used to distinguish Brontosaurus from Apatosaurus. In 1903, Riggs studied that, and he described those as a, a part of a growth series. And so they are not valid to separate species. They describe different stages in the growth of one species. So Riggs synonymized Apatosaurus with Brontosaurus. So since 1903, Brontosaurus has been the junior synonym of Apatosaurus. <laughs>